Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and as promised, it's time to do some liquid soap. If you've watched other videos, or if you've done it yourself, you know generally you mix your potassium hydroxide flakes with water, and you stick blend, and stick blend, and stick blend, and stick blend, oftentimes upwards of a half an hour before it comes to trace. I've done it myself. Always worried about burning out a stick blender, think is the cost worth it. I found, I, this is not to my credit, several of you have done it, I found the idea on Soaping101.com on the YouTube channel. Mix it with vegetable glycerin instead. Now if you've all done this before, you also know sodium hydroxide is typically what you use to make soap. Mix a nice bar of soap if you mix it properly. You can oftentimes find it in a local hardware store or find it online. To make liquid soap, you use potassium hydroxide. KOH. It's often called, the nickname is potash. Okay, this is not your typical lye. This will not make a bar of soap. You have to use potassium hydroxide to make liquid soap. I get this from Brambleberry. There are lots of places online that sell it. Now, one drawback to mixing this with glycerin is you have to heat the glycerin to 200 degrees. I've done it very slowly on the stove. It's a little over 200, but it's okay. It's not going to make that much of a difference. It's not much over. Looks just like water, but it is vegetable glycerin. When this mixes with the hot glycerin, it gets pretty violent. Folks, put your gloves on. Put your safety gear on. This is over 200 degrees, and you're putting lye into it. Be careful. Make sure you have a deep enough pot. I made a mistake one time. The pot wasn't deep enough. It spilled all over the stove, hit the hot burner, smoked for days. Be careful. All right, let's do this slowly. I'm going to put a few in, and we'll take a wire whisk and stir it. And it'll get pretty violent. That dissolved in. And it takes a good bit of stirring. It wants to kind of sit on the bottom and stick a little bit. Put a little bit more in. It's on the burner on low heat to keep it hot. And this is absolutely necessary. See, look at this. See it bubbling? See it boiling? This is why. You, you don't want this to bubble over on your skin, and this is why you absolutely put it in at a slow rate. You pour all that in once, even in this deep pot, it's going to boil over all over your stove, all over you, going to burn you. You're going to have a heat burn as well as a chemical burn. Pour it in slowly. Stir it in. See, look at that. Look at that, just that little bit. See? If I'd poured all of that in, I would have had a mess all over the place. Learn that mistake the hard way. Keep stirring. Stirring it in. It's going to bubble up some more. There it goes boiling. Very violent. That's why you put such a small amount in every time. Constantly stir it. Just a little bit more in. And the stronger it gets, the more violent it becomes. That's just pour very small amounts in every time. This is the last. Put the recipe below. I keep my recipe very simple. When you make liquid soap, you do not want a super fat. And your bar soap, super fat's great. Liquid soap, bad. Doesn't necessarily hurt it, but let me show you an example of what happens when you have a super fat in liquid soap. This is some liquid soap that had a super fat. You see that floating on the top? That is undissolved. See how clear that is at the bottom? cloudy at the top. Now you can shake this together. It's alright. You can shake it together and mix the fat in it and use it. It's nice. It's great. It works great. But the fat will eventually float to the top. You'll have clear at the bottom, white at the top. That's why you don't want a super fat in your liquid soap. You always choose a 0% super fat. Alright. Let's put this in the oils. 
stick blend and we're going to be start the long, long cook. Get you over here. Mm, sorry about moving this so much. My kitchen's pretty small. There we go, we can see that, okay. All right, my lye glycerin solution's nice and clear. I'm gonna put this in the sink so nobody gets burned on it. Pour my lye glycerin solution into my hot oils. Stick blend and start the long, long cook. Here we go. You've seen this process before. This is similar. Got my lye and my hot oils. Looks very similar to the whole process. Now generally this goes to a trace much, much quicker. Cold process so well. And that's a benefit, one of the benefits to using a glycerin base instead of a water base. Now I'm kind of surprised this hasn't already. Sometimes I've done this and within a matter of seconds I'm a trace. I'm surprised it hasn't already. Of course, this is a bigger batch than I normally do. I have 42 ounces of oils. I'm getting pretty thick now. Now if you've done this before with water, you know it doesn't get this thick this fast with water. That's one major advantage of doing this with glycerin instead of water. Yeah, we're really getting thick now. See how quickly it's getting thick? It's starting to turn okay. That's a sign it's really well mixed. Look how it's turning okay. Very, very Okay, that really is about all I need to do. That is the advantage of using glycerin over water. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this. It's on high. I'm going to leave it on high for a while to really get this started. But you saw how quickly that got super thick. Now, it's thinned up again. I don't know why it does that. I can't explain it, but that got just super, almost gel thick all at once. Went opaque. It's well mixed. So, see how clear it is? I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to leave it on high. I'm going to let it cook for about six hours, and I'll bring you back then. Thanks for watching.